In a world filled with a constant stream of opinions, perspectives and noise, it's common to get overwhelmed and feel pulled into various directions. Especially as a highly sensitive person, I believe it is more important than ever to create moments of quiet reflection. A pause from the external noise to reconnect with your true self. Let's think of solitude not as isolation, but as a deliberate retreat for self-discovery. You also don't have to feel bad about wanting to be alone every once in a while. It is not an escape from the world and your responsibilities. You will return to those soon enough, but it is a much needed break from external noise and a way of taking care of yourself so you can take better care of everyone else in your life afterwards. If you fill your time of solitude with meaningful activities, such as creating art of any kind, dancing or singing to your favorite music, yoga, meditation, knitting, gardening, baking, anything really that you love doing and that gets you into a state of flow, then solitude becomes this sacred space guiding you to your deepest truth and replenishing your soul with fresh and loving energy. I find my state of flow here in my tiny art studio, painting with earth pigments and creating collages with elements that I found in nature. It is my time to listen to the songs that I love, feeling guided by inspiration from the season I'm in and losing myself in the process of creation. I cherish that time of solitude in my studio so much. It is right there that anxiety and worries fade away and I feel free and peaceful within my mind. So what is your favorite way to spend time alone? Let me know in the comments below. See you in the next video, my friend.